my guy. I've actually been waiting for this question. I'm about to show you a video how the stars look when you zoom up on them. And if you think I'm lying about that's how stars look like when you zoom up on them, just wait till nighttime hits and I want you to go outside and record a star and keep zooming up on it. Now tell me, this is exactly how it looks, right? Now the water are making those shapes off of sound, frequency, and vibration. Have you ever zoomed up to a star and seen that it was changing colors? Like these ones. That's because the colors are based off wavelength interval and frequency interval. Water is a diamagnetic, which repels a magnetic field. Now watch this video to see where I'm going with this. This star in a jar is made when a sound wave is passed through a small bubble inside a flask of liquid. And this sound wave makes the bubble do something remarkable. First it expands, then it collapses. And this collapse happens so violently that vapor molecules trapped inside the bubble slam together and heat up so much that the bubble gives off an incredible burst of heat and light several thousand times a second, giving the appearance of a star. Those are the words from the science world. Now in the beginning it says this star was made from a sound wave that is passed from a small bubble inside of liquid. Now listen, in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was God, and with God. He said, let there be light, and there was light, sound, vibration, the Word of God, water from the firmament, my guy. Alright, so this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one, Go back to that video, which is before this video, and go watch it before you start to watch this video. Or you're going to be completely lost about this video. Alright, so I don't know if y'all know, but they put magnetics on some people's houses. And they gain electricity from the sun hitting on top of those metal pallets on top of their houses. As I was saying in the first video, water is a diamagnetic. It repels a magnetic field. Now let's go back to talking about the water above the firmament. I know everybody has seen lightning before. But have you ever wondered where the thunder came from? This is the big boom, the thunder before the lightning strikes down. This is a picture that scientists took when they got on a plane and flew on the top of the clouds when it was lightning and thundering. This is what's coming out of the firmament, the big thunder that you hear before the lightning strikes down. As everybody knows, lightning is electricity. Y'all don't know, but the earth itself is a magnetic field. Now look at this. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets to the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations. Electrical energy, frequency, and vibration is literally everywhere on Earth. And the Earth actually functions as an energy plate. Much like what Tesla created with the purple plate. Or coil as the electric magnetic base. Think about the ocean. Stars are actually dancing glimpses of light. Interacting with the water above the firmament. Japanese scientist Masiru Omoto came up with a new way to capture messages through water. He'll take samples of water and freeze them, minus 25 degrees. After a few hours, he will analyze the water under a dark field microscope with photographic capabilities in a lab at a constant temperature of minus 5 degrees. He then tested out different audio frequencies 
and human sound vibrations on each sample. He focused on the way human vibration energy, thoughts, words, and music, and how it affects the molecular structure of water. Here are some of his results of the pictures when he used certain words and music, and how it affected the water. It's similar to the way somatics work. As the pitch of the tone increases, geometric patterns will form and become more complex. Cymatics or sound frequency in water resembles the pulsating pattern of what an actual star looks like when you zoom in on it. So remember, God spoke the word into being, and it was so. Such as words, speech, sound, vibration. He spoke that into being. The stars are from his word, as he spoke it into the water of the firmament. Him speaking created bubbles in the water. With the high enough frequency, the bubbles can burst into light. 